no more fucking around. There's no more game playing. It's everything, uh, it's coming to fruition right now. The I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast is coming live and direct from the gloom tomb of New York City. Uh, I'm in here with my partner, G Monetti. Yeah. 2015 podcast, co host of the year. Yeah. Uh, we're going for the championship belt in 2016. We're actually going to get belts if we win and wear them. You're not going to just see them at like the fights and ceremonies. Like you might see me on a street on a on a, on, a, on, a, yeah. on a cold Tuesday with my belt. We're going for the belts yep. in 2016. Um, my name is Michael Rappaport. Uh, some people call me the Gringo Man Dingo. Some people call me the White Arsenio Hall. Um, I take it all. I take it all. I soak it in, and I appreciate it. We're doing this with no cuts. Yeah, let's just roll, man. We're doing all live everything, all live reads. All live sponsorship talk to show you how we get down. We're gonna we're we're, we're freaking the shit. Mm-hmm. Miles, just cut in a couple of beats, some G Monetti beats. Give me that Murderers Express. Yeah, I want that 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 Murderers Express. I want that uh, what's the what's the Jew Funk? Bernstein. I want that Bernstein beat somewhere in here. And what what, what other requests do you have? Your, they're your beats, Moody. Uh, you train, made some- Chase, Miles. Make sure you get Chase. Miles Davis is our, is he Puerto Rican and Asian, Japan, Japanese? Uh, and yeah, he said he was Japanese and uh, white? Yes. Or Japanese and Japanese? Japanese and white. I okay. I thought something had to do with Puerto Ricans. I'll always like to fuck with the Puerto Ricans in a good way. I fuck with them. I mean, I grew up on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Yeah. And you know, Spanish Harlem is a blink away. Yeah, it's not far. So I always like had that around me. Right. You know, at the pool at John Jay Park on the Upper East Side. <laughs> right. You know, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I know that LearnVest is an online financial advice company focused on, on empowering people nationwide to make smart decisions with their money. If you want to know how to aggressively pay down your student loans, LearnVest can help you with that. If you want to know how much you should put aside for saving and contributions to your retirement account, they're on that also. They'll help create a custom financial plan just for you. Plus, they pair you with a financial planner to help keep you on track. To see a sample plan and get a $50 credit, go to learnvest.com forward slash Rappaport, L-E-A-R-N-B-E-S-T.com. Learnvest. I know Moody's messing with it right now. Yep. And uh, I'm really proud that they're a sponsor of the Iron Rappaport Stereo Podcast. So... Chloe Kardashian, we, we, we've probably been the only people tracking this. Word. And I hate to toot our own horn. <clears throat> and it's not like we're kicking somebody when they're down because the Kardashians, they don't just have one show. They're a family of multiple shows. They are that fond of themselves that they feel like the world just can't get enough. But the world got enough of cocktails with Chloe, her show that I believe was shot out of the garage of her house, right. with no premeditated plan, effort, or script, it was the shittiest of the shitty reality shows. Right, right. And as you all know, I do watch them. I watch reality shows, so I can tell you that cocktails with Chloe, everything with a K, because she is cuckoo for Coco Cox. It's all K everything. Yes. We, she we, said that. That's not my... She said, I'm cuckoo for Coco Cox. And if she didn't say it, she said something around I've that. I've never seen a white You're, penis. So uh, what does I'm that pe- mean? It means... That I'm cuckoo for Coco Cox. Good one, Moody. Moody. <clears throat> so the show was canceled after 14 terrible episodes. And you can't blame her guests. She got very good guests. Right. A-listers. You, you know who you have to blame? The host. The host. She's not interesting. You don't got it. You don't have it. Right. Now she's doing a fitness show. Damn. Well, just... why do we need you to do a fitness show? We see you in 15-second videos. We know that a lot of your body has been purchased. Word. And manipulated. Fitness, right. Yeah. Word. 
We don't want to see you on a fitness show. Again, you're not that interesting. Just like, just like your step pops, his show isn't that good because he's not that interesting. Right. Now, when the collective Kardashian circus comes to town, now you got a shirt. Now you got a show. Right. Because you're like, how can they all? How can they all be doing this together? But on your own terms, right. individually, it doesn't fly. Right. Bruce is a fucking snore. Caitlyn. Cocktails with Chloe, with Chloe was a snore. And your workout show is going to be whack too. They give her another show. That's one of many. Damn. So one could fail. There's, there's, there's starving comedians, talented actors and actresses, really um, committed fitness people. Yeah. There, there, there's people that like, like, like live and die to shit. And you think that you're just going to get a show and it's just going to pop off just because of who you are? Because and of you, yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. And you got all fake shit. And it's not like, again, it's not like I'm shitting on someone with their down, when they're down. Right. When is enough enough? When are you going to get sick of yourself? Yo, if they throwing money at these motherfuckers, take it. Because your ass they have get to old. pitch them shows too, though. Oh, they have to pitch them. That's why her Clo- uh, Cocktails with Chloe was on uh, that network. E passed on it. Oh, right. They, they were smart. <clears throat> they said, we not with none of that sucker shit. And uh, oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about uh, that show. They had A-list guests. A-list guests. No, it wasn't that. There was something specific about that show. But it, it, it doesn't matter. But, I, but the point of, the, the point of the, what I brought up this whole thing to begin with, even though I can't remember what the actual point was, is that if you can do cocktails with Chloe... And in the gym with Chloe, in the gym. I, I want to pitch, and I want to see if you're down for this. This is an on-air thing. I hope I'm not catching you off guard. Shitting with G. Monetti. <laughs> you go on the toilet, and you just rant. We don't see you. Like, we don't see it. It's not about the right. only thing. You're just, we don't even have to take, taking a dump with G. Monetti. That's a better sellable title. Right, right. I'm with it. Where you, you every morning... The show is on, it's on YouTube, 20 minutes of you, and it, it, we'll make it a nice set with a real toilet, mm. and you just spew the morning news, but you're on the toilet. We don't see, you're just there, like um, yeah. how a man does. You, I think we can sell that. Would you be interested in comfortable hosting a show like that? Because if Cocktails can Chloe, with Chloe can do 14 episodes before it gets canceled, I feel like we could at least squeeze 30 to 35. Oh, yeah, I'll get that. Hell, yeah. You're comfortable doing that? Hell yeah. All right. So we want to take all show, all propositions. Um, we're not going to go out and pitch this. We want to hear your pitch as to where we should sell it. <laughs> There's going to be a bidding war on this. Let's go. Let's go. So that's done. That show is finito. Um, another thing that happened that was very uh, pleasant, not a surprise at all. Uh, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, is got nominated first ballot Hall of Fame. No brainer. Yao Ming, first ballot Hall of Fame, and the best of all the best. Yeah. Allen Iverson, the people's champ. Full Iverson. Yeah. In the Hall of Fame, first ballot. Good. All 165 pounds of him. That's right. He's a fucking miracle. He's in there. What a player. Special. What a player. Made it in there. First ballot. Showed up to, for the acceptance thing. Still doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. T-shirt and jeans. And, I, and, I, and, that, and you know, because he had a, just a sort of a low-key T-shirt. And, and well, the jeans were a little much, but they, they, he, they weren't crazy. He makes it. like Now it's like you wouldn't expect him to wear a suit to right. anything. We'd he, be surprised if we saw the suit. Right. And I love it. Yeah, it changed. Yeah, it's like, and he said, he said they talk. They talked about how I dress, but I wouldn't be caught dead in what the these motherfuckers is wearing. Yo, that's just what I said. And when you 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 did say that, motherfucker wearing they, their stomach out and shit. Why you don't pop shit about that? You want them to look like women in the tun in the tunnels. No, you can't blame anybody for that. You want them? <laughs> no, you're not putting that on no fucking the white guy. The fucking league, the the emasculation of black men. No, we're not taking responsibility for that, my man. <laughs> oh, so you that's say a personal choice. That, that they I, stomach fuck out. Fuck you. Fuck you. So they stomach out. These and- motherfuckers want to wear dresses to show up for the NBA finals. That's a personal choice. 
No fucking white people are taking the fucking fall for this one, my man. Fuck all that shit, man. But shouldn't that be legislated out just like you legislated hey, out? Hey, you legislate your own people. That ain't a fucking black... A, a guy wearing a dress ain't no black culture, motherfucker. Listen, listen. That's on you. <laughs> and that's not even on you. On That's that's the individual. That's not cultural. That's not racial. Yeah. The individual is making a fucking choice to wear a dress and then go play power forward. <laughs> I'm not taking responsibility for that, and you shouldn't take responsibility for that. that is I ain't. It. I'm just saying, NBA, hey. that's inappropriate for, for, for your league. Hey. If it was inappropriate for Allen Iverson to... Call David Stern, because my <laughs> man Adam Silver, he's not getting involved with that. Adam Silver's like, look at these assholes also. Adam Silver is like, I can't fuck... No, that should, that should ruffle Mr. Silver's feathers. What? This motherfucker coming in looking like one of the village people and shit. <laughs> now, fuck that. Allen Iverson couldn't wear Tim's, but this motherfucker got his stomach out. Right. That's cool. Hey, my little girl, my daughter is offended by that shit. Allen Iverson couldn't wear thir size 38 jeans, but this fucking guy's wearing red bottom shoes to the game. Yeah. So I want to see who's the first NBA player to... Get sponsored by Louboutin shoes, which is a female shoe. They're gonna be like, yo, they're gonna make it for men in size 16. Yeah. And I'm gonna play in them shits. It's gonna take one guy. That because there's no gender now. Christine Remember. Christine Lou is it Chris, Christian Christian Louboutin or something, something Louboutin or Mar Martinique Louboutin. Something I know it's, it's Louboutin. always some bush. I call them dodos in Manolo. Yes. Yes. Good one. Did you make that up? I made that up. Fuck, Moody. Yo. I, I, I got I What? Yo, what? I, I, I got to say. I got to say a couple of things. The I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast, this is an announcement. And I think you know where I'm going with this, Moody. March, again, we topped our listeners from, from February. And that's true. you hear us talk shit. You hear us. We're very cynical. We're this, that, and the third. When we got the news that March was our biggest month, it's all elation. Yeah. The I Am Rapport Stereo podcast is growing every month. And we appreciate it. Hell yeah. We would be doing this shit with no mics. We've been doing it. Since 82. <laughs> but now we have started legions and legions and legions of people. The motherfucking rapper pack. An unstoppable force, a group. The rabid rapper pack. The moody mob. Word. Started by, started by somebody who, who just knew there was a movement and they wanted to be a part of something. Word. It starts something fantastic, so they started the motherfucking moody mob. Word. Yo, the t-shirts are coming. The moody mob t-shirt is coming. I don't know why... I don't know why we haven't ordered our third shipment of G Monetti t-shirts on our website. Yeah, get that. Get well, that everybody should have, like I, I walk around with my G Monetti t-shirt and I'm I'm proud of that shit. I walk around in the Jake t-shirt. Me too. Somebody I'm said, yo, I need that t-shirt. And I said, it's the podcast. He said, get the fuck out of here. Cause it looks like an art piece on my fucking yeah. shirt. And now out. we have the Dick Richie t-shirt. Made by my man Ian Johnson. Check his fucking Instagram out. The great Ian Johnson. A real artist. Yeah. Everybody's gonna, yo, listen. It is what it is. That's but how we if do If you baby. want a soft ass I Am Rapport podcast t shirt, whether it's the Dick Ritchie t shirt from the True Romance live screening and podcast, right. go to districtlines.com forward slash I Am Rapport. They're all available. 150% soft, super soft ass t-shirts. Always. Sure. I can't remember what I was going to say, Mo Monetti. Oh, fuck. Where? Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, it's just popping. Uh, we're doing the damn thing. Um, I could smell the NBA playoffs in the air. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, What's the, what's the deal? What's uh, what's really good? I want to uh, talk about uh, 
it's, you know, you call customer service now when you're doing anything. It, it's no more Americans, right? I, 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 the, jo- the jobs have been shuttled out to third world countries, right? It's fucking hell. So you, your mortgage bank, you doesn't calling, matter what. You, you're calling Mumbai, India, right? And you get motherfuckers that don't know English. Nope. But they handling your mortgage account. I don't want you. You fuck handling my mortgage mortgage account, my car lease. I have I, you. You heard. I have to call um, Express Scripts, which is an online prescription company, right, to get my ulcerative colitis medicine. This is you. God forbid you lose your fucking credit card. You don't know where you're calling. I just lost my credit card. I don't want to fucking call the back swamp of Tunisia. Sorry, you know, call me a guy who, who, who doesn't want to give somebody a choice and an opportunity. Say what you want. I just lost my fucking credit card. I want to speak to somebody who's speaking the same language, right, not reading right. a fucking script. Right. Not a dictaphone. Right. Right. What, what, what are you dealing with all with these Yo. with these people? You know, if you when you speak into an American motherfucker in Minnesota or whatever, they working, you're doing customer service. You, he understands what you mean because he's an American cat. So you could be vague with this motherfucker. They always think I'm angry even right. when I'm not angry because they, they pick up on the tone. And this motherfucker is reading the script. And I'm saying, I'm talking to him like I'm getting a little upset because I'm like, yo, did you do this? Did, is this happening? And he's reading the script. Yes, sir. He's not answering my question. He's yes, reading what they told his ass because he don't know shit. Right. So I started cursing at this motherfucker, right? Say, and you say And then he, he didn't acknowledge that. Because he doesn't he know just, what you're saying. Right. He just read the script. Yo, that outsourcing shit is whack. You may be paying these motherfuckers 50 cents an hour or a quarter an hour. It feels like it. Right. Because you don't want to pay. It feels like these motherfuckers might be like giving, you know, rubbing people's feet at the same time to have two, two for one jobs. Yeah. Giving foot massages. We're in a consumer society, so the customer is always right. So this is how you treat the customer and the consumer. You you go across seas and you put some motherfucker from some hut on the phone. The customer is always right. And I got to talk to somebody in a hut who just learned English. The customer's always right. You motherfucker. The customer is always right. Fucking right. I'm locked out of my fucking car. I need fucking roadside assistance, you cocksucker. I don't need fucking spare ribs. I got a flat fucking tire. Yeah. When you're at your fucking most vulnerable, you you get... Habib on the phone who don't know what the fuck you talking about. See, I don't like that. If I'm if I'm a consumer, I'm the most important motherfucker in this society cuz I buy shit. So you got to have somebody that understands, speaks that American shit so we can get this transaction moving. Get this shit pop a lopping. This month, yeah, you say that to one of the motherfuckers. They don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> And they always, for some reason, I don't know why, do they think I'm angry all the time? I'm not always. The angry American. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what they're saying in them, them little huts. Okay. They give them a job. We pay you 75 cents uh, today. Not an hour. We're going to pay your ass <laughs> 75 cents today. Right. <laughs> Maybe. Yo, you know, remember a couple of weeks ago in... Uh, Charlotte, I think it was Charlotte or Indiana, when the little kid ran on the court when the Knicks were playing. Uh, I didn't see that. I didn't or know. Atlanta, or no, maybe it was Toronto. I don't know where the fuck they were. The Smoothie King Center, where the arena. What were they? Oh, New Orleans. The New Orleans have their. their, their, their we go to Madison Square Garden. These assholes go to the Smoothie King Center. Man. You ain't never winning a championship yeah, with that sponsorship. Yeah. The fucking Smoothie King Center. That's the name of your arena. Not the fabulous forum. Right. The Boston Garden. Damn. Madison they, Square they Garden. They got to do shit like the that. The fucking Smoothie King Center. 
Yo, if I'm a player, I gotta go be like, listen, man. They got we 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 need, we we trying to like you know create some sort of environment and vibe and right. tone and live from the Smoothie King Center. <laughs> they can't say shit like that. You're undefeated, New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, yeah. A joke? <laughs> We're already the Pelicans, and now we're, we and we the Pelicans playing the fucking Smoothie King, the Smoothie King Center. Smoothie King got paper. Who? Smoothie King got paper because you think they didn't put out a bid? Of course they did. So they and got they, paper. They, man. they they outbid a lot of people because I'm sure that the owner of the Pelicans and the owner of that arena was like, I don't re I don't really. We don't want these motherfuckers. Smoothie King Center? Yeah, might as well have what? What's some other ice cream shit? Mr. Softy <laughs> Arena. Yeah. Little Debbie's Live Arena. from the Mr. Softy Arena in Long Island. Yeah. Where your Long Island frogs play. I heard they lumped up my man uh, Jared Fogle. That subway, that... that Barbarian motherfucker that was fucking wait, wait, with kids. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear about that. But I didn't finish why I even brought okay. up. All right, go ahead, bro. The Smoothie King Center was that the Knicks were playing there and a little eight-year-old kid somehow got onto the court a couple of weeks ago and hugged Carmelo Anthony. And like, the, you know, Jesus. Carmelo hugged him and like pat him on the head. He was sweet. And then the kid ran off the court. He feels sorry for him. What do you mean? Fucking guys playing for the Knicks. They haven't been in the playoffs <laughs> four years. That's why he did that. That, see. <laughs> you feel sorry for this motherfucker. I like that, Monetti. <laughs> Go ahead. See, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry to point out the obvious, because it is the obvious. <laughs> but all the, all the other sports outlets, and we love them all. We watch them all. The Bleacher Reports. Dead the ESPN, spin. Dead Spin. Love those guys. All the writers, all my guys, even my dude Ruko and Rothenberg. The great you know, Ruko. What up? And the fantastically entertaining... Raw Dave Rothenberg. Yes, yes. My I'll, man Skin and my man out there in Dallas. You all had takes on that. But no one got to the real reason why the little kid ran on the court. And that is because he felt sorry for Carmelo. <laughs> that's why the Iron Rapport podcast, it wins again. Right. Yeah. That's, that's the first thing that came to my mind. So the ushers who were, report, who were guarding that side got fired. Damn. Because the little kid got on the court. And, and I think it's fucked up. And they were saying, you know, obviously the, the, the most horrible, scary thing was remember when Monica Sellis got yeah. stabbed? Want to hit her with Thank the, God more yeah. incidents like that don't happen. And, 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 and me and Monetti, and I, I have the fortune, the great, t trust me, every time I, I, I get the opportunity to sit courtside, I'm like, you know. Oh, yes. That's we're, we're like, I'm like elated. Yes. Yo, I could see how that could happen, but a little kid, they, they're, they're not getting looked at as much as, as a person, right. as an adult. Yeah. So the little kid running on the court, obviously it's not good for the game, and obviously it's scary, and obviously it can't become a regular occurrence, but to fire them dudes, that's, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's terrible, man. And, and the NBA, you know, or something. She some, got reprimanded, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Reprimanded, maybe yeah. like, yeah, you should, because they, they, they had to go through a course, blah, 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 but to get fired, I don't agree with it. Word. So I wanted to just finish that thought. Um, I also wanted to say that money and fame doesn't buy you looks, because when you look at LeBron James just as a physical, like, like <laughs> he's a fucked up looking dude. Nah, man, we don't be judging no man. Nah, but I just yeah, looking at yeah. him at the bench the other night, his grill, like, he looks like shit. Yeah. But Jared Fogel, yeah, okay, got his ass whooped deservingly. Some big white motherfucker kicked his ass brutally, right? Like an Aryan Nation did, dude. Because right? he was tired of seeing this motherfucker around, right? And nobody really fucking him up, right? So he decided one time, one day, to lump him up, and it was bad. So they transferred money. Not Jared. They transferred uh, the big burly motherfucker, right, out. The, the, and he, like he a, gave the reason. This pedophile motherfucker, man. Yo, I want. I, 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 I felt I should beat his ass. But, but you know what? I, obviously, I have no problem with that. But you know, jail. I was thinking about this. Jail and prison politics, and 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 like sort of like the some of it. And I, obviously, I don't want to piss. But from what I know, 
I don't know much. But like having like a mass murderer, not to say that this guy was a mass murderer, but like be offended by somebody and anybody else. Like I'm, a, I'm, I'm fucked up, but this guy's even more fucked up than me. And, you know, I don't want to get into whether or not something's more. Obviously, right. those kinds of crimes are terrible. Rape, any sort of chill, any of that shit is horrendous. But coming from a motherfucker who ate a yeah. body yeah. or kill yeah you don't really have much say in what's morally right because you're you're a fucking like right i mean and and, and you when know he beat ass so yeah fucking. he got his ass beat speaking of creep cocksuckers and sick fucks of the week and we're gonna have go into now the sick fuck of the week this award is earned not given it's called the sick fuck of the week this guy's really sick lock him up how could you do it don't let him out. Damn. You fucked the dog? You what? You fucked the dog? Why would you fuck the dog? Why would you fuck your girlfriend's dog? What? Sick fuck. The sick fuck of the week. It's earned. Earned. Not given. You did. What? No. 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 Yes, Miles. The sick fuck of the week theme song. Mm-hmm. A dude on the train the other day, the commuter train to Jersey, unfolded his loaf, 20-year-old dude, and, 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 and was jerking himself off on the, on the train. Pleasuring himself, sir. Pleasuring himself. Uh, that's that's like, I, I, that, coming from you. you. You've definitely, I would like to know, <laughs> I, my, this, this week's poll is this. Who's more lewd? G. Monetti? Or me, Mr. I, White folks. I, I'd say it was me. I want to. I want to let the people okay, decide. I'd say it was me. I want to let the people decide because last week, and we're going to get to this in a second. We had a swamp ass poll, and I you, lost horribly. And you need to acknowledge that in one yeah. second. But right, this sick fuck of the week, his name is like Halajulala, hot whatever. That's that suppressed sexuality. That's where he comes from. Those places where you can't get no ass. Right. We just we're just gonna assume that because of his name. Yeah. How can a, a woman pronounce that motherfucker? Yeah, I'm fucking with. <laughs> <laughs> huh, <laughs> motherfucker? It's still do it again. And How, I'm, who you fucking with? <laughs> it pauses and then it. <laughs> it did the right. <laughs> Oh, shit. He is the sick fuck of the week. But now you're saying maybe he shouldn't, he should, you have compassion for him? No, he's on the, on the train. This guy's an animal, man. He comes from where those countries where they lock shit down. Right. All right. Right? So you have to, he's doing wild shit. I'm giving him the sick fuck of he the week. He is. He has the sick but fuck. But you're saying we should asterisk him? Yes. Like this, he's like the Sammy Sosa of the sick fucks of the week. Go, go his country. Go to his country. You'll see. Nobody get no ass. All right. Because it's against the law. Okay. He's the Barry Bonds. I don't want to give him Barry Bonds, but I'll give him Sammy Sosa. Yeah. Of the sick fuck of the week. We, yeah. we, we got to find the Barry Bonds of, of sick fucks <laughs> and the Babe Ruth of sick fucks. Right. That's going to be somebody special. No. The Babe Ruth. Who's going to outdo this? We already did this guy who fucked the dog as a revenge thing. Oh, who do you think is gonna top that? Oh, a little Chihuahua. He wearing out. Who gonna Who gonna top that? And he's wearing out the dog. The thing that was made it extra crazy is that he was doing it to the dog to get back at the girl who was showing undue attention to the dog in his mind. Let, let, so let, he was let, looking let, at let, that let, little dog and say, "Oh, you think?" Let's 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 make sure that you really understand. The guy was jealous of his girlfriend. Because he felt like his girlfriend was spending too much time with his dog. So to get back at, at her, he gaped, he gaped little Benji. Gaped. He's right now, he's, he's the Sammy Sosa. No, he's the Barry Bonds. No one's topping that. Yeah, he's, gr that guy. Unless you catch a bird. And do some ill shit with nah, a bird. Nah, you can't. He and it was and it wasn't a big dog either. It was like a twelve pound dog. This guy's. What's that shit, Ben? Or or, or what's that little shit that, that used to come on NBC back in the days? Damn, with, Shaggy Da. Yeah, he fucking the Shaggy Da. 
<laughs> nah, it wasn't the Shaggy. He had a little, like a little Paris Hilton dog. That you carry in a fucking little yeah, the one Riverside that you could keep, church bag you and can, shit. You could bring on a plane with no problem. You just have to have the paperwork. The shit sits in your lap. A Damn, lap dog. A little hamster. No. But they're about that size. A little 14 bigger. pounds. And you, and you, you greasing up. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> man. Nothing tops that. Yeah. Shit, man. <laughs> What else you got? You that know? that's that's a, that's it. Nothing can top that. Well, but but see, but then you get you get people like this, the the, the Russian woman, oh what happened? Who stabbed her husband to death, and then fed the dogs, then fed the remains to their dog. He had to be asleep. She stabbed money to death, and fed his shit to the dog, yo. Fed his remains, fed his body to the dog. First of all, my dog will eat anything, but he won't eat a fucking body. The dog is a. And the, the dog has to be asleep. Nobody can run up on me. You ain't, you ain't not stabbing me if I'm up. He had to be asleep. A girl told me that I'll cut your dick off. Said that to you? Yeah. That right there and the relationship. You don't say shit like that. Right. There's no coming back from yeah, that. Yeah, like, that's what you would do? Word. She said that to me. I got scared of than a motherfucker. Like Willie D. I was scared of than a motherfucker. Yo, <laughs> I'll cut your dick off. What? I didn't even say nothing. I just looked at her like, like she was like Jason and shit. Just, and then what did you say? Like, how did you, like, because you're well, not really. Well, well, imagine somebody, a woman that I you be, would say that I, to. I would be very scared. I'm going to keep it real. I would be, I would want to remove myself. Forget the relationship I was from this person. Girl. I'd want to move away. I was physically move out of her space. And when I heard that, I said, this is a psycho. No shit. What, imagine, I say that to her. I'm going to cut your pussy out. What? <laughs> right. Psycho. Do I look like a web designer over here? I don't. But with Weebly.com, I was easily able to make a beautiful and fully functional website. Weebly was created for people with the courage to start their own businesses and dream to be their own boss. Again, you don't need to be a web designer or know how to code to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store. If I can do it, you can too. Trust me. I was very impressed with the wide variety of professionally designed mobile themes to choose from. Then you simply drag and drop to quickly build and publish your site. It's easy. And you can truly customize, update, and change your site anytime you want on any device. All right? Join over 30 million people who are already dreaming big with Weebly. Get started for free today at Weebly.com. That's W-E-E-B-L-Y.com slash Michael. Weebly.com slash Michael. You can check out the website I designed by myself at www.imrapport.weebly.com. I want to send a memo to uh, Mr. LeBron James. <laughs> what about him? Cut your hair. It's I just over. was saying that. It's over. I just was saying that. And you're like, we don't talk about men. You try to throw me under the no, bus. No, you said he looks like shit. I, I didn't not, want to point I'm out his hair. I'm not trying to bag this motherfucker. No, so no, I don't no, look no, at him no. like that. No, 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 no. I'm saying. I know. Oh, time, 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 time. No, but men no, don't no, no, judge this, motherfuckers this like, yo, that. how you look, B. Then why are we saying cut your shit? I no. can say. We've said plenty of people need to fix their fucking teeth. That's different from saying what you said. Listen, I have to look at this guy all the time. He's on the commercials. He's in the game. He's in the pregame. He's on the bench with his button up. Uh, he's button up a, a denim shirt. And I'm peeping him and his hair and his whole grill piece. And I'm saying he looks like shit. And he needs to cut his wig and shut it down. The only there thing has to be a better way. You're right. But the only thing I look at when I see this motherfucker is the thinning of your hair, right? That's what you look at. But when you, when you see a guy like, let's say, That's I don't know, Scotty Pippen, who we've brought him up in his teeth, you see a big horn-shoe nose, right? And you see some fucking, some teeth, right? Yeah. Who else looks like shit? If, like, but who? see, you can't do shit about that. Yes, you can. What you want? What? 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 Do Scotty the Michael Pippen. Jackson shit. Break your shit up. Terrell Suggs. T Sizzle can't do shit about his teeth. They can't make them longer. 
They can't sh- uh, uh, bring up the gums to, to kind of get the ratio to where it's, it looks like a regular human being. The tooth to gum ratio. Yo, it's fucked up. That's he what it is. He just happened to be born like that. Wait. So I told, you need to go to the dentist and smile. And the dentist, the, you know, just, and then, and then after you smile, tell the dentist, what the fuck can you do for them? I know it's fucked up. The world know it's, knows it's fucked up. The I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast knows it's fucked up. Certainly you see. <laughs> and you're the pro. Fix my shit. They can make, uh, they can give chicks dicks and dicks chicks. Yeah. But you can't fix my teeth, Doc. Right, right. Come on. Right. I got the money. I'm T-Sizzle. And we right. love you, T-Sizzle. We, we, yo, we don't front on you, man. I, I fucks with him. I love his game. I love his personality. T Sizzle was that dude. I fuck with T Sizzle. He's dope. He's gonna be a dope broadcaster in yeah, television. You, you yeah. can see it. Yeah. But, but, but T Sizzle, we gonna tell you what they gonna tell you when you get in that broadcast. They, before you become a broadcaster, yeah. they, they, I guarantee you, they're probably telling him now. Look, when you, when, 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 when you when you get out of the league, you have a job over here at Fox or, or CBS or HBO. But. Subject We're giving choppers. You three. <laughs> That's in the top of the email. He's like, what? He doesn't know what it is. Huh? Oh, I'm going to use the company plane? No, it's not that. Choppers. You're not using the fucking uh, 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 the, the Fox helicopter. We well, have a dentist on staff. He's right here. He's world class. And, and there's a back door we could sneak you in and seek you out because the change is going to be so drastic that any adjustments we do in your favor, the whole world will notice because your grill... Is it's it's the it's the bottom. If you look at Jalen Rose when he was with the Fab Five, his shit he he talks about it. Right, his shit looked like broken glass. Yes, he had jagged jagged teeth. Yes, and yes. look at him now. Looks great, Benny Hill. He looks like fucking Benny. Yeah, he looks like fucking Benny Hill. Damn, Booty, you're you're you just, yo killing the game, killing this yo. motherfucker. You're on fucking fuego. So we just tell uh, T. Sizzle out of love. Out of love. We're such big fans. But this is comedy, too, so we're going to laugh, It's too. not even comedy. It's reality. His teeth is fucking comedy, Yo, no, this is, a re- this is a charitable thing we're doing. Right, we're, doing right. you st- we're doing you the favor that your friends and your close-knit crew Has- hasn't done for you. Right. And I get why they, they didn't do it, because you're a lovable guy. Right. But you, you can tell. Just think about this, T. Sizzle. Whenever you laugh heartily... Does the, the, the person you're with eyes go down to your gum? Right. That's how you know your shit is busted. When you're talking, when you're pouring your heart out. Do you see? Look at the motherfucker's eyes. Where his eyes go? Take a beat and try to look at it. Like, see, do, do they drift down? Or if down and up. If they're st- <laughs> That's how we do it. You if, do it. If they're staring in your eyes, they're only trying to not, not look to down. Look at your fucking it's like teeth. being on a high building. Don't look down. Just don't. Just don't. Don't do it. If you look down, it, it, you'll jump. You know when your shit is fucked up because you might have some shit <laughs> that you uh, ate that's on your chin. Motherfuckers will look up and down on your yeah. shit to where you have to. You feel it. And you go, yo, is something on my face? Yeah, man, you got some shit right here. RG3, you look good. Yes. I saw the press conference. Cleveland Cat, the Cleveland Browns press conference, his first appearance as a Cleveland Brown. I'm sure Jim Brown said, I need to talk to him before y'all let him get up there. See, Jim Brown is that that black man. Jim Brown is doesn't fuck around. He don't give a fuck about no cameras. Right. I'm sure he pulled his ass in the, the brown room. They probably got some shit in Cleveland called the brown room, where you get you get in there and you get straight. Right. He learned you about what you need to do. Right. And I'm sure Jim Brown got a hold of this motherfucker and said, you don't want to start the league. Jim Brown probably using street language. You don't want to start the league, nigga. <laughs> look, you forgot the lead. Wait. Yeah. This look, is a perfect look here, yeah, man, yeah. moment. Look here. Look here, man. You don't want to start the league, nigga. I begged Hugh Jackson to get you down here. Don't let this shit get twisted. Well, I appreciate that, Mr. Brown. Oh, wait, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> okay, Mr. See, Brown. You had, I know you had a lot of problems out there. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Brown, for laughing. And I know the main reason 
You had all the subway commercials, and all you was doing was just gallivanting around with the white girl. Mm. And ain't nothing wrong with the white girl. Uh uh-uh. uh. But for you, it is. Yes. Come in here focused. Get your fucking head right. You got you as a starter. Don't worry about these other motherfuckers. You the starter. I got you. Fix your motherfucking braids. Fix your braid. You did good. And when you showed up for a Cleveland Brown, uh, your first ple- Cleveland Brown press conference, you looked the way you're supposed to look. You didn't have your little string bean shit, weak ass braids <laughs> hanging off your head. Looked like they were scotch taped. Now nah, he got he got the I, the Iverson shit. He looked look his shit was tight. It looked yeah. good. Yeah. Keep the braids, man. Do what you do. Do your thing. I'm not gonna say braid or not braid, right. but at least have your shit looking like you know. And it's about studying. It's not about the commercials. I know they gassed you. Yeah, they did. They're gassing you. Right. But you almost out the lead. You're barely hanging on. You're yeah. hanging on for dear life. Like, you know Tim, you, Tim Tebow? Yeah. You're on that shit. Look in the mirror and say, I'm a black quarterback. Right. And look at the history. You don't get chances, motherfucker. The history says you fuck up. You're not going to be no Vince Evans. A perennial backup. Right. You're going to be out the league. Right. You're not just some, because you they can't yeah. have you come off the bench because that style of quarterbacking, they don't want that shit. Right. <laughs> You're not revolutionizing, revolutionizing that league, that, that position. Cam Newton will if he ever he can gets do that both. Super Bowl. You motherfucker yeah. can't throw. Yep. You're running around and this shit is dope. And I'm not mad at you. It's and, that fucking Mike Shanahan ran and Shanahan you. Shanahan fucked your leg up. You now. need to find Mike Shanahan and get on. Like Latrell Sprewell, what he did. Choke that motherfucker out. He had no business choking him. Although PJ was flipping nah, on him. No, nah, he did. Okay. No. But, but when if RG3 get- went and choked the shit out of Mike Shanahan when he's out of the league, people would have to go, I get it. I fucking get it. We don't know what happened with Sprewell in that gym either. Okay, we, that's true. Right? And also, we don't know. I don't think it was as big of a choke as they said. I think he, you know, the way it was like the the real thing. It wasn't like Sprewell's from a hood, so no, I don't think, understand black culture and how we deal with motherfuckers. Sprewell, I ch- I know what he did. What did he do? PJ was yelling at him on some sucker shit like it's Seton Hall, like he's college. Right. This motherfucker make more money than you. You doing that shit in front of grown men, his teammates. Right. Fuck shooting a ball in the basket. What you said, yo? <laughs> Dude, do, PJ, the, do the whole script. Do the whole scene, please. This is what happened. Do the whole PJ scene. PJ yelling at. PJ, he's like, come on, Latrell. You're not playing hard enough no, today, no, man. No, 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 I know how I, I know how, how what, what was the tone? The yelling is. The fucking ball goes that way. Time out. You fucking, the ball goes to the corner. But he's saying you his name, Latrell. He's saying it's per, it's specific. Now these are, he's showing you up. And this is a white dude. I'm, See, this I, is I different. need to do PJ. Latrell, what the fuck are you doing? You're fucking lazy. See, it's shit like that. It's not just basketball shit. I'm tired of these lazy fucks. Talking to his assistants around... And this is a white dude. You have to understand the dynamic right. where you just feel like this white motherfucker, put, it throws you back into slavery. Uh, I hear you. I you hear know, you'd you. be like, yo, fuck this nigga. And it's embarrassing. Yeah. And you feel like humiliated because it only comes you feeling bad. He feel like he's disrespecting you. Right. So you. But do you think he actually, I was just saying in terms of the choking, did he actually choke? Because the reports are that, that whole Quote, when you think choke, you think hands around the neck. He had it. He did? He had marks around his neck. Yeah, but I heard it was like he grabbed him. I don't he know. He tried to get him, probably. He probably like, did. And then PJ settled his ass down because it got real. You don't want to fight this motherfucker. No. Right? But you need to check yourself. That's a grown man. Right. And you ain't the owner. This ain't college, motherfucker. Right. Little kids and you doing that sucker shit. Flipping uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. Right. You don't got to yell. Right. You could yell, but see, you know it doesn't have to be personal. See, shit. the yelling says more about you, chump ass, ho ass, PJ. So back to football. Speaking of football, we 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 say RG three. You almost out the league, and we are very we 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 are certain with that. So you're at Cleveland. Um, I hope Hugh Jackson uses you correctly. Start anew. Start anew. 
and and put it down because they're watching. Oh, and you ain't gonna be no backup because you make too much. Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna be, and you throw the fucking ball away. Right. And and if if RG three can't be productive, it's not his talent. Right. It's his it's his, it's his the injuries and and the injury and because the Tebow in- not in the league. There's no love affair with you. No. There's a love affair with Tebow, and he's not in the league. They, if they tried their best to get Tebow in the league, you, you fuck. You on your last legs, man. And we fuck with you. So I want to see him focus. I hopeful, hopefully the injury is not bad. That's right. It's all the injury, because I know he's a good kid. They, you you got to run with your legs. This motherfucker ran his knees into the ground. Mike Shanahan, you fuck. So now you're a pocket motherfucker. Because you can't get away from now we brothers see like that. And he's not that big. Cam is six. Yo, Cam is right. a big fucker. I met Cam. That motherfucker is big. Right. Big and wide. That mu- yeah, he's not yeah. lean. Yeah. You got it. Because I met, I met Kaepernick, and he's big, and Cam Newton is bigger than him. Man. These are big motherfuckers. Right. Exactly. Big motherfuckers. And th- those are the quarterbacks. Yo, what was that? Reggie, what was that? Uh, that linebacker on, on the Patriots, I met him once. He was a big fucking guy. Mm-mm. McGinnis? Willie McGinnis? Yo. Yeah. That motherfucker, you want him, like, he's bodyguard size. Yeah, that's why. And, and he's not as diesel as he used to be now, and he's still, like, you're yeah. like, this is a big fucking dude. Yo, that's why these motherfuckers got CTE. You, that guy's fucking running into you full speed. <laughs> 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 shit. That's... But, yo, I saw the, the OJ shit. Yo. The finale. We give an applause. Yo. People versus OJ, I loved it. Me too. I, I didn't want it to end. Me too. Give the, the I'm going to tell you what, right, my prediction. Some Sarah people. Paulson, she's winning the Emmy. Sarah Paulson is bout it, bout it. Break it down. Why, why do you think she's so bout it, bout it? Now, I'm not, I'm a fan, right? right? So break it down. So here's my break. Uh, I'm not going to do like Mr. Chauncey Billups. Like I'm Mr. I want here, you to, here it is. Yeah. As a fan, and it, you, uh, they know that I don't really watch TV too much, right? Right. The fans know the that. Fans know that. But you know great acting when you see it. And w- what are you seeing in her performance that, that you're so um, impressed by? Just the fact that she's basically mirroring Marsha Clark. Right. But not like in a way she got her own thing. With. Right, right. She you made, know what I'm saying? She made it. She made it totally real. Like Jamie Fox was doing rich little shit with uh Ray Charles. Right. Paulson. No, it, I, I hear what you're saying. You I, see, I, I don't totally agree with what you're saying, right. but because it's a musician, a musician, right? And and Ray Charles is so iconic. The way he looks, the way he played the piano. There's so many sort of iconic things. Different things. So I I, okay. I, 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 I got to defend Fox because he's a, f- yo. That, I like Fox. No, I know. I know what you you're know, saying. But you know I know what, what you're saying. saying though. But Marsha Clark, as much as we sort of know her, she's not, her, she doesn't have iconic movements the way Ray does. Right, exactly. It'd right, be like if true. you playing Jimi Hendrix, like you're going to be like the hair. You got to do what he does because it's a musician. That's I tougher. Say. Anyway, so go ahead, go ahead. But just, and Courtney B. Vance and. and yo, and, he's killed it. Yo, that's well, some, see, that's the shit I like about acting the craft of that shit where i'm sitting in my crib and i'm looking at these motherfuckers like this shit is actually happening now they make it so real that's the talent it's true it's true those guys i mean everybody did really good but they they were my favorite um i think cuba was really really good hell yeah i think that i think they were all good a that's, swimmer, I think. Uh, F. Lee Bailey, the guy, the actor, I can't, I can't remember. Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane, he was dope. Travolta. Yeah, man, yo, it was it was really good. And homeboy who played Darden, that fucking guy. He, I think he's gonna win the Emmy, best supporting actor. Right. He was great. You see, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Putting I, I, that skill on display that makes you understand, yo, what they're doing is. Difficult, yeah. But they make it look like the cameras are eavesdropping. Mm. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, they, I, 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 I agree with what you're saying. I like what you're saying, and I, I can't agree more. I thought it was, I thought it was fun. I want. That's I, it. You can see it. You can see. The, I want this shit to keep going. I like how OJ's getting shunned. They should 
keep going with next year. How how he's getting fucking shunned. <laughs> oh, they should do like afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because he thought shit was all gravy. Call he, the Riviera. Uh, uh, give me uh, 15 tables. Right. The motherfuckers told him, oh, we, we ain't no tables. Right. We don't fuck with you. Right. Period. All the motherfuckers he was fucking with. Karma. <sighs> he, he, yo, that killed Cardet, Robert. Because Robert was like, yo, this, this motherfucker yeah, really did He broke did his heart. Shit. He fucked Robert Kardashian. Yeah. David Schwimmer is good as Kardashian. Hell yeah. He fucked, he fucked Robert Kardashian up. And, 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 and I mean that in, the, in most respectful. Like, right. yo, that dude died, I'm Imagine sure, because of the stress that had that, that case. Your friend, like, you think, this, he, you think this is a real cat. He would never do that. Right. But then it comes out. You're like, yo, all the evidence is pointing to you, motherfucker. Right. And OJ's like, oh, come on, man. Flipping on him and shit. Yeah. Some whole <sighs> shit. <laughs> Yo, I heard I, at the world famous Apollo. Yep. They had this uh, Fife Memorial and the hip hop entirety. The, the family was, was there. The, yo. The, 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 the scope of hip hop, because Fife was such a beloved an important figure in this art form. So it's like one of the family members passed. It was that's exactly what it felt like. Right? So you get everybody. That's exactly what it felt like. And because and, he's respected like that. And and first his family, we're talking about there, there was a beautiful uh memorial event, so uh, emotional, so genuine, um, and just so much love and respect and and, and positivity. It was very nice at the Apollo for Fife Dog and 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 everybody was there. You know, they reported everybody they reported was there and more. Right. Like all those names like they, they had in the paper, Lauren Hill and Andre three thousand and all of his family and friends and good people, nice people and, and, and people I've you know it was it was it was a nice night and it was uh fans had T shirts on and it was packed and it was it was special. It was fit for a king. Right, right. Cool J was there. He yo hey, LL Cool Royalty. J. I fuck with LL Cool yeah, J. Cool J, man. James Tada. Because when you think about like you know, and one of the the beautiful things that I was thinking about why there were so many old quote unquote old school. I hate saying that they gotta That's come not old school. It's the true school. It's the original shit. The best school. Yeah. There and, was so many so many originators there because tribe. As a group and Fife as an MC, they took what dudes did before them they got the and torch, pushed it forward. Progressed it. And and that's why they get respect from Grandmaster Flash, KRS one. And there's other dudes that are are way more successful than Tribe that'll never get that treatment. Absolutely. Because because what they did musically was so of the essence of it and took it forward. It was like like like, yo, we're giving you the baton, and they were like, boom, and they were like, yo, we're here. And it's not just them. Right. That whole that whole Native Tongues collective was there. Skilled in the trade of that old boom bap. Mm. And and it was it was nice. And 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 D'Angelo performed. Wow. With what? the roots backing him up. Oh. But but it was tribute. It was it, this wasn't, it was a celebration because he it, it became a celebration, but it was it was it was very uh it had a religious aspect to it because his family, the, the family was religious. first and foremost. Right. It was, it was really nice, man. I was so, I, I, I was proud and moved to, to have anything to do with anything to do with this guy. He was right. a good, good sweet dude. dude. I, I also heard there was some controversy. And when they say controversy, I, 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 I call that sucker shit. What? I heard this motherfucker that we are. Uh, we we clown periodically on the uh, the podcast. Kanye West came up there and was uh, uttering some curses and uh, there was something that Peter Rosenberg, uh, who said some very sweet, genuine, heartfelt uh, things, and introduced uh, a clip from ESPN. Right. And he 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 was you know talked about seeing them. He's younger than us, so right, he's right. different. So, but he he saw them as a kid perform, and he brought a hat, and he's a fan. Right. And he made a comment about them being uh, in the same, the same world, the same reference. I made the same comment that them being like similar to Led Zeppelin, right. like the Led Zeppelin of hip hop. 
No one thought twice about it in any negative kind of way. But what, what, got, what, 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 what was bugged out was when Kanye went up there, he semi threw Peter Rosenberg under the, under the bus and that turned into like a whole like little controversy because he said, when I'm up here, I don't want to hear nothing about Led Zeppelin. He was basically saying that like Tribe is black music and black music was, he, he said all these things in, out of context, like black music was stolen and he, he, he sort of semi threw this dude, Barry Weiss, who was Tribe Called Quest and Sony executive under the bus too. Right. And it, was, it didn't need to happen. It wasn't the place to say to say anything negative. The, the place was it was only the place to say only positive things about, about five, five. About five. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, one thing about that that, that, that I didn't know that the uh, memorial, the service was live broadcast on Revolt TV, and 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 you know, you never would have thought. It's it was I, I was I think it was kind of beautiful because it showed how important he was. Right. Like like. I think it was cool that you did because first I was like, why would they do it? And then I was like, he's that important. Like, right. you know, he's that loved. Like if somebody from a great band or like, like he's a beloved, he has fans across the world. So right. I'm like, I'm glad they did it. Right. But one of the other things that um, Kanye had said was this dude, Barry Weiss, who's actually in beat rhymes in life, the travels of a tribe called quest. He was like their A and R guy, or he he signed them to the record label. Not A and R guy. He signed them to. He was the head of the record label, J right. Jive. Right. Signed Too Short, <laughs> which was a great scene from Beat Rhymes and Life that got cut out. But they, you know, he he's an important part of Tribe, and like you know, he he was there, and I'm sure they had you know back and forth because he, he's like industry rule number four thousand and eighty. Record company people are yeah, shady. Right. I'm sure Barry Weiss inspired the fuck out of that line but he also did a lot for them so he was in the audience and i know that he you know he he's a part of the tribe you know like he 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 helped he helped develop and push that brand that group to become what they became right so he had said uh, what was his what was his uh Shit he was talking about up on stage, man. Like, I he heard said, it he said, crazy shit. He said something about, he said, you know, Peter Rosenberg said something about Zeppelin and, you know, but I don't want to hear nothing about Zeppelin mentioned at Fife's funeral. And then the other thing he said, a hundred years from now, we're going to all be with Fife. You know, he was saying beautiful things. And, right. and then he said, you know, and this country was built off her back. Barry Weiss, no. Like, he like, but I'm like. Injected him into his bullshit. Barry Weiss, as soon as he heard his name, should have been like, what? Right. Just just echoing throughout the Apollo I, Theater. I'm right here if you, if you need right, me. Right, right. And, and, and then when he was walking out, he should have walked over to him and be like, what were you saying? Right. You, see, this is how you have to deal with a motherfucker like that. If he's going to call you out in public like that, but then it was, it's your, you're justified in meeting his ass in the lobby. It was so surprising to, I think, a lot of people that no one even said nothing because it was like, it, it would have just made things worse. But he was there. He said a lot of good, loving, important things. And he said a lot of things that were... Uh, Inappropriate. And that's when you should get checked. <laughs> but you... This is for Fife. It is. This ain't about slavery. Right. And they, a record company took... Motherfucker, of course, everybody know that. But this is about fight. Right. You come up here, he's on like his soapbox. Right. Yeah, I'm this and that. All it needs, all he needs is to be checked. Mm. Well, And everybody seems to be scared of this midget. <laughs> <laughs> and I was right there in the front row. Right. I, so I was there the whole night. It was a beautiful night. Um, Cool J, man, like native tongues. It was just, but it, not the people who came because it was it was the things that people said, like his family, right? His cousins, right? Friends, his friends, growing up queens and shit, queens. And he's yo beloved dude. It was it was it was a very emotional. It was a, it was a kind of send off you would only imagine that you could hope. Right. Four. You were like, you, like, you like yo, yeah. I would be, if I could have a quarter of this when I, when I go, right. 
I would be cool. So I, it was very, very emotional, very sweet, very uplifting, and very positive. And and I was happy uh, that that he got that, and the fans came. And I love seeing the fans and the five T-shirts and the tribe. They were up there, like they were there the whole night. Right. <clears throat> so shout out to all them and everybody that that came. You know, to the hip hop family, the man. whole hip hop family. It's it, it's it's an honor to like have any sort of foot in the door because I'm such a fucking fan. Right. And you're so, part of that family now because you created that film that documented one of the world's greatest. Word up. Thanks, Moody. I appreciate that. So when I go to sleep, I sleep on a Casper mattress. I love my Casper mattress. It's no secret. It's changed my entire sleep game. Casper. Let, what? Southwest by. What is it? South by Southwest. Remember you went to the Casper camp and you took a nap? They had a, they had a nap, a nap camp, a nap van. I took a nap in the middle of the day on a mattress. It was fantastic. I sleep at home like a fucking baby. I have Casper mattress and now I have a Casper pillow. I actually have two Casper pillows, two king size Casper pillows, award winning sleep company. The mattress is delivered to your house in two to five days, shows up in a box, a hundred day guarantee. If you do not like your mattress, which is going to be a shocker, uh-huh. you could return it for free for a full refund after 100 days of sleeping on it. That's how you know you've made some classic shit. They'll refund you fully. Like, we give you your money back. We know this is dope. Go to Casper.com, C-A-S-P-E-R. Use the promo code Rappaport to save $50 on an already great deal. They have all six size mattresses. And... All I could say is I'm I'm happy to be associated with 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 the brand. For sure. You got anything else you want to rock rock about? I mean, we're, we're live and direct here. Like it, we're not stopping, man. Like my throat hurts. You know, uh, I, you know what what do you want, man? Uh, what's what's really good? Uh, Greg Hardy, man. <laughs> Yo, get him out of here. We need. To, uh, I mean, let me let me. Gotta go. And his handlers. Your his handlers are they suck. Keep a close eye Keep on this fucking guy. Keep him away from any cameras. Right. He can't articulate his feelings. Right. Obviously. Right. He doesn't. He doesn't understand. Right. He doesn't get it. So you got hand, Jerry Jones. Don't let this motherfucker go in front of the camera. Jerry Jones, we know you want to keep him. I, I, as 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 understand, like morally, we we I, I assume you probably don't want to keep him. But he's too much of a fucking wild goon out on the field to cut him. Yo, yeah. But while you have him as a player on your team, lock shit down. The owner, here, here's my thing, Rap. Okay. The owner okay. got to be the owner. Right. You can't be in some office and, and delegate and shit. Yo, you handle that. When the owner, the man who has the gold makes the rules. Mm. So if the owner come in the locker room and this motherfucker's on some sucker shit, right? Who are the players? And I, I'm the owner and I'm paying this guy. What kind of optic would it be if the owner came down and undressed this motherfucker right in front of the whole team? What do you mean, physically? No, not, not just talking to him like, yo, all that shit you doing, beating up chicks and all that, I'm paying you. And the contract is about to be voided. I'm going to cut your fucking right. ass. In front of all these motherfuckers. Right. I'm the owner. Right. This ain't my only business, dude. Right. This shit don't even make money for me. Right. This is a side gig. This is a hobby. And how much are we paying you? Five million per year. Where the fuck you think you could get that out on this economy? Right. And you out here making it rain in the club. Right. I got a billion dollars. I ain't never been in no strip club. Right. What the fuck is you doing? Look at you, everybody. Your chain is a fucking. Look, can I use that as a fucking doorstop? You fuck you. We got a financial fucking team. You don't even go in there. I pay you. You want the check you're gonna get today? <laughs> it's three hundred thousand dollars for a week. <laughs> right. You don't even go in the office and deal with fucking Barry Weiss. Right. With the. <laughs> We do. We we set up shit. Seymour Greenbergstein. <laughs> we set up. He shit got for the, you they got that fucking the Jewiest bagel yeah. face fuck lawyer team you'll ever and some and some cowboy hat wearing Texans. 
We set up shit so you can be straight at the end of the at, at the end of your career. But no, you, you don't do you that. You bypass that. Right, you skip that meeting. Okay. We we bring it up again. You're like, "Yeah, I'll be there Tuesday." Oh, I I I I, I my my ankle wasn't feeling good. I right. missed that meeting. And we get blamed for your bankruptcies. Cuz you're an asshole. Right. So See, owners need to take more stock. Right. But this is their shit. This is like their little fucking part-time job. <clears throat> Yo, we're coming up with the True Romance live edition next week. We're dropping that. If you weren't at the live event, yo, you could hear it. All True Romance, everything. It's not even just about True Romance. We talk about... I don't even know what we, I, I know I was, I, we, we had a good time. I know I publicly admitted that I have no interest in ever seeing my friend Toby Morris or any h- hardcore punk rock band again. And I respect the culture. Right. I, I, I'm not going Why? out to, I don't like the music. I do not like the music. I know Bad Brains. I know a band called Death. I know Sick of It All. What don't you like about the it's music? It's too, it's too much. Too loud. Too loud. I'm too old. I don't leave the house. And if I go out to hear music, I want it, I want it to be the kind of music that I want it to, I want it to be. And I fuck with these dudes. Right, I know. They're good people. We're Rancid, friends. Rancid, I yeah. fuck with all. Like, I don't, I, but it's just the music in general. You tried to fuck with I the music. I can't fuck with it. Right. But Toby <laughs> Morris is my dude. Right. That, yeah, that's separate. Friends and a lot of, of these dudes are my dudes. The right. whole H2O band, those are my dudes. But they understand. Everybody doesn't fuck with that shit. I don't expect all my friends to listen to this fucking podcast. Yeah. Do you think I say, Mom, did you listen to episode 147? June, we rock it. She rocks it, but I'm not going to be like, expect everybody to right. listen to it. Right. Especially people that, 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 that have to hear. Imagine having to hear me in real life and then do this shit. Motherfuckers don't want to listen to it. I got friends, Jason Berg, my man, he don't want to listen to this shit, Sal. They don't, they don't, they'll, they, they can, don't take, it, they can yeah. take it in short increments. <laughs> You're a special breed, Moody. You're able to deal with me, you know, in, yeah. in large chunks, but you're easy going. Yeah, I don't give a shit, man. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, too. You just give me a motherfucking grill. I'll put a ribeye on it and just chill on out. Okay. Um, I don't know. I can't call it. Black oh, Thought like- Black Thought at, at, at the Fife Memorial was, was great. He rhymed Angela Winbush. I'm just free. She's saying Angel. Ooh, and she sang the hell out of that shit, right? In the Apollo Theater for Fife. They were friends. Right. Angela. You know, one of the good things about that, 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 that I, I remember to bring up, Fife Dog, this is something about his personality. He always kept platonic girlfriends. Like, he would be like, yo, meet so-and-so. That's my friend. She's my best friend. You, you never messed with her? Nah, we've just been best friends for right. 20-some years. But a lot of them. And I always admired that about him as a person. It, right. it says a lot about who he is as a person because, right. you know, like the Fife Door characters is, you know, I like him by you know, Puerto yeah. Rican Haitian and like Tanya, Tamika, then he's, he, he was, he had a lot of platonic girlfriends and they, right. they were all there. Right. And, it, and his wife knew about it. Like, not no shady shit. Like, right. I was always like, this is a, I respect that about him. Right. Right. Good. Good dude. So, so Angela Winbush saying Angel killed it. Of course, this is this is a professional singer, man. <laughs> this is Kelly not no Price, bullshit. professional. Kelly Price is a motherfucker. Did I tell you Dinkins was there? Mayor. He came out and he said beautiful things about Fife, and he talked about like that song and that lyric and that time and not being that familiar with hip hop. Right. And he was proud that that song had his name. Like these he, guys are class, like we said. And everybody who came and showed up. All class. It was. It was. It was. It was nothing but class right. in that whole building. And you, you, you understand, like that's what hip hop is about. It's not about this uh, vulgarity, bullshit, all kind of stupid shit. That's what it is. Right. It morphed into what we what we are now. Good point. Good point. That's why you get the love from the pioneers. Right. Because they 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 wouldn't be there if they they gave these motherfuckers the baton. Right. And they took it. And they took it and progressed it. Yep. And, where, they, and, they, and other cats took it too. Right. To where the world. The whole entire world. It's all over the world. Yeah. It started from these cats in the Bronx. Boom. Gave it to y'all. And then it went all over the world. So y'all. Grandmaster Flash was there. That's what I'm saying. Now. Cool Herc was there. 
He invented this shit. Yeah. The, it was it was it was a, it was a beautiful beautiful I, I, a beautiful and I, I brought it up again just because I I remembered it was it was really cool man um yo I'm trying to figure out what movie we should screen next it, I don't not one of my movies I'm trying to think I want I want I want the, the listeners of the Iron Rapport Stereo podcast we did we had a great the screening of True Rump The Shining would be that's 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 a good idea. What about some comedy shit? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Stripes. What about a Richard Pryor concert film? Like Here and Now or some shit like that. That or... I don't know. I'm trying that, to think. That sounds good. Some some classic comedy But shit. I want to hear from the fans. It could be something like Shining would be good. good Goodfellas. Um, Saturday Night Fever. There's, you know, Airplane. Yeah. Airplane would be funny. Airplane would be funny. <laughs> and if, 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 if the they're crowd? smoking that Dick Ritchie yeah. and that funny airplane, yep. that could be the name of a strain, a strain of weed, that funny airplane. All right, so chime in on that. This is the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast. All raw dog without a bag. No cuts. No cuts. Uninterrupted. Word. We call this literally going raw dog without a bag.